do 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 I do 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 I do 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 <laughs> Hey guys, today we're going to make jalapeno and cheddar sausage. And as always, the first order in business is setting up the smoker. I'm filling it up with lump charcoal mixed with chunks of oak and then starting it up with a log of wood. This is a big smoker, so it needs a lot of energy to get up the temperature. I will set it to smoke at 110 degrees Celsius, which is 225 degrees Fahrenheit. In the meantime, my friend Marcel from Max Barbecue Pit, which is a barbecue blog in Dutch, is cutting up this 1200 gram pork neck into cubes. At the same time, he's taking out any connective tissue and silver skin, just to make sure that the meat grinder doesn't get blocked. And he's also cutting up 300 grams of pork fat. I'm cutting up 350 grams of cheddar cheese into small cubes. They're almost the size of a quarter inch, which is uh, about a half centimeter. The trick is to give them that right size, so you get a nice flavor explosion when you bite into the sausage. Decor six jalapeno peppers and then chop them real fine, even finer than the cheddar cheese, because otherwise they won't be fully cooked. It's time to start grinding the meat. I'm using an ice cold meat grinder here and I'm putting in the pork fat and the pork meat. I'm mixing it up already so we don't have to do that afterwards. We're using a size 6 for the meat grinder which stands for the opening and the size when it comes out of the meat grinder. Half of the jalapeno and cheddar cheese are going in as I cut them and the other half is going in through the meat grinder. The small cubes will create flavor explosions. And the rest that we have ground up will make sure that you have a basic flavor throughout the sausage of jalapeno and cheddar. Now this mixture already starts looking good to me. Of course we still need to add some salt and pepper. We're using 26 grams of salt and 4 pinches of black coarse pepper. So it's time to put in some elbow grease. Luckily I have Marshall here to do it for me and he's doing a pretty good job. Mix it up real good because you don't want to see parts of meat, parts of fat. It all has to be mixed properly. We also are adding some water to make sure that we have sufficient moisture. This is our pork sausage casing. It's been sitting in cold water for 30 minutes to rinse off any salt. And now we're going to flush it with water to get out the rest of the salt. Put your sausage casing on your sausage stuffer. Make sure that the end is wet. This will make it a lot easier. And yes, it looks weird, but you'll get over it. Put the stuffing in the sausage filler and then slowly start turning. This is a two-man job. One determines the speed of the stuffing coming out and the other controls the resistance of the sausage casing and determines the thickness of the sausage. Now, if you want to get into making sausages yourself, maybe the best thing to do is go get a workshop, try it out for once, see if you like it and then you can invest in some equipment if you don't already have one. Because for instance, kitchen machines, they have appliances you can fit on them, which will allow you to make sausages like this. You don't always need professional equipment. If you find out you love it, you got some basic skills, then you can do it too. It's not that hard. It's time to check the consistency and squeeze the sausage in the size that you like them. Give them a quick flip or a quick twist and then you're done. Hang them to dry in the fridge for an hour or so and then place them in the smoker. Smoke them at 110 degrees Celsius, which is 225 degrees Fahrenheit for about an hour and then you will be ready for, oh my God, this tastes so good. These sausages look absolutely perfect. They actually they look epic. They're really <laughs> epic. Marcel. Oh. Real epic one. Hmm. These are the best sausages I ever had. They're soft, they're juicy, they got that little zing from the jalapeno. It's not too sharp, it's just a little zing. Even though there's a lot of jalapeno in there, but it gives also a lot of flavor and freshness. 
to the sausage. It's creamy, it has a, a crunchy skin. Everything you're looking for in a barbecue sausage. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys next time. Don't forget to check out Marcel's blog. I will put the link in the video description down below. See you guys next time. Cheers. Cheers.